Hi, this is Mrs. McPhee, and we had some questions that I wanted to help you with using the Pythagorean Theorem and the Distance Formula. This problem was from earlier in the week, where the first step was we had defined the distance the wolf was going to travel if he was going to go straight from Eagle Rock to Grandma's house. And most people found that 10 miles really easily, either substituting 6 squared and 8 squared, or noticing you could divide by 2 and then get a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. So 10 miles was the wolf's distance. The issue a lot of students had was on the back. If Red rides her bike at a rate of 8 miles per hour, how long will it take in hours and minutes for her to reach Grandma's house? So this is using that simple distance formula where distance equals rate times time. Her distance, we did have to look back to the front. She's going to go on the two legs. So she's going to go 6 miles and then another 8 miles for a total of 14 miles. Her rate is given at 8 miles per hour, so we're going to find her time. And my suggestion was when we go ahead and divide by 8 in order to isolate our variable t, instead of knocking this over and dividing, I'm going to leave that as 14 divided by 8, written as a fraction, because fractions are our friends. And then I can simplify my fraction by dividing by 2, and I'm going to get 7 fourths, which is 1 and 3 fourths of an hour, but it does say in hours and minutes. So that would be 1 hour, and then 3 fourths of an hour, if you think about a clock, 3 fourths of an hour, we would have 15 minutes, and then 35, 30 minutes, and then 45 minutes. So 1 hour and 45 minutes for red. How fast will the wolf have to run to get to Grandma's house at least 15 minutes before Red? So you're going to have to use Red's time and start by subtracting 15 minutes. 1 hour and 45 minutes minus the 15 minutes so he can get there early means that the wolf is going to take an hour and 30 minutes. And let's make that number a lot easier. That's the same thing as an hour and a half. And I'm just going to write that as either the decimal or as the improper fraction. So one and a half hours or three halves hours. Again, we're going to apply our distance formula. His distance we found by finding that hypotenuse. That was our 10 miles. We don't know how fast he's going to have to go. That's the rate, what we're trying to find. But we do know that he's traveling for um, one and a half hours. And then what I want to do here again is I want to isolate my variable. Right now r is being multiplied by three halves, so I'm going to divide both sides by three halves. And a lot of you learned multiplying by a reciprocal, which is always a great strategy. You want to use it, go for it. You know how much I'm infatuated by dividing with a common denominator, so I'm going to use that. 3 halves divided by 3 halves is 1, so I'm left with just r. When we divide with a common denominator, we need, of course, to get a common denominator, which in this case is pretty simple. 1 times 2 is 2, 10 times 2 is 20. So the wolf's rate, since 2 divided by 2 is 1, is going to be 20 divided by 3. 20 divided by 3 which, because we're talking about speed, it makes more sense if we make that answer into a mixed number. So 6 and 2 thirds miles per hour. Or if you wanted to use the decimal version, 6 and 6 tenths repeating. Make sure you use the repeating symbol, miles per hour. Hope that helps a little bit, since uh, our next classwork is also going to use the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula. You're doing a great job. I will see you soon. Bye.